I'm Keith Chambers. I'm the Director of Operations Execution Software for Schneider Electric Software. So the conventional MES deployments were, were always done on a site-by-site -site basis and there was always a desire that we were going to be able to kind of take an application from one side and move it to another site and build templates. Very, very difficult to do in practice because the configuration, the definition of what the system did, how it worked, was so intertwined with the actual system itself that it made it very difficult to kind of separate out the functional from the, the underlying platforms. So with model-driven, we're able able to break those two pieces apart and we take a process view, we look at what are the manufacturing business processes that are getting implemented and then we model that directly in our Skelter BPM, we integrate it directly to our system platform, our MES backend, we build the UIs in Skelter for the operators and other people to, to work with those workflows and keep that completely separate from the, the technical details of how we install MES or, or how we deploy system platform. For us, one of the primary value propositions we can bring to our customers is it does help us bring down that, that total cost of ownership for multi-site enterprise class MES. And it does it really by allowing us to apply the appropriate governance. So now each site has their own copy of, of the procedures that are being used. They can modify them, but there's a central repository that can be change controlled and version back in the center of excellence that can then deploy out the latest global best practices as they're developed and deployed. Other value propositions it allows a consistent approach to uh, regulatory compliance uh, so the sites aren't deciding site by site uh, how they comply with OSHA, FDA or other requirements. Uh, it also allows a, a very consistent view for the business of each site. So what are the key scorecard indicators, KPI, KPI indicators being derived in sites if they're all being calculated in the same fashion, it allows a meaningful comparison between those sites. So, so the, the big trends that we're seeing from customers is this interest in multi-site MES uh, and how to actually successfully kind of deploy common solutions, standardization, how they can bring down cost of ownership uh, by standardizing solutions, templates, a lot of excitement about industry solutions. So these are kind of taking the, the standard offerings that we have out in the, in the horizontal marketplace and really specializing high value application solutions for particular industry, industry segments. And with MES, the way we do this, exactly what I talked about before, we take a model-driven approach uh, and all of the industry solutions that we're building uh, for our food and beverage, life science, uh, and specialty chem companies uh, are all model-driven applications that are being built by us to be deployed uh, in, a, in a simple fashion in a customer's sites. Uh, but also because they're model-driven, we're able to extend them using the same kind of technology techniques uh, that we use in our broader MES practice. So they've become a foundational part where we can now deliver easily and quickly some of the core OEE performance serialization capabilities that we want and then build it out from there into full MES systems. Yeah, you know, I always like to say what we sell is not what our customers buy. You know, what we sell is kind of standard products, platforms. What our customers buy are solutions. And really industry solutions is moving us much closer to what our customers want to receive and, and use in their plants. And as such, it's tremendous value to them uh, for us to execute on that.